Hi everyone, my name is uh, Professor Stephen Nesheba, and today I'll be giving you a video about uh, this week's lecture material, which is on Fibnert. But first, I'd like to give a little plug um, for my upcoming talk. I recently came back from Chile, where I was collecting ice samples to investigate climate change. How cool was that? Um, and I'll be giving a talk about my work uh, Thursday, November 12th, 2015, in Kilworth Chapel at 7.30. Hope to see you there. Um, so uh, now for this week's lecture material, we're going to be working with Hibnert, which is a really powerful equation. Um, and let it be noted that we do not use PV equals KVT like the physicists do because we do not like to use the abbreviation Pivikidibida. So instead, we use Pivnert, um, and I'll walk you through these uh, variables. P it stands for the number of pythons in your system. You have the python. Uh, v is the vacuum. And this side of the equation is equivalent to the Nesheva constant named after myself, which is equivalent to 105, otherwise known as the number of subscribers on my YouTube videos. Um, R is the rushing condition, which is anything but 21. Um, and then T is the number of titrations. It takes you to finish the 230 lab. Very sad and high number. Um, so now I'm going to show you how uh, Pivnert works in state spaces. Uh, so to do this, we draw a state space, and um, uh, uh, a state space is a three-dimensional plot. Um, um, yeah, that, that is not a cube. Um, I'll try that again. Um, um, yeah, this will be it, right? Um, that also does not seem like a cube quite yet. Um, uh, why can't I do this? Um, we got a cube. Oh, so frustrated. Uh, why are you being so loud? Okay, I'm filming a lecture video right now. <laughs> and I'm, I'm uh, trying to draw these, uh, these here uh, state spaces. And I just can't can't get it to be a cube! Oh, so, you're trying to draw a state space? Yes. Do you need some help with this? I, I would love that damn regard. I'm gonna be late for my basketball game, but I will help you out. You're so good at drawing optical paths, I'm sure you can draw these lines. Dan. You're welcome. You're such a great colleague. <laughs> it's a pleasure to work with you. Anytime. Um, wow, what a great head of our department. Um, so in the state space, we relate um, uh, V, the amount of vacuum, uh, to the amount of titrations in your lab, T, and then we get some function uh, U, which I've not stated before, but U is equal to the number of um, uh, ums that I say in this video. So uh, as the vacuum increases, we see an increase in the number of ums. Similarly, as you do more titrations in the lab, you uh, feel the need to say more ums. So the ums also increase. Uh, so then you get a state space like this that you can shake in <laughs> all nicely. Um, and that's how you relate. Compared to state spaces. Uh, so um, uh, come to my talk on Thursday, and uh, that's all. <laughs>